Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be sharing with you my current collection of perfumes. So if you'd be interested in seeing what I have currently in my collection, then just stay tuned. Okay, so um, I keep saying what I have in my collection currently because I, I have a few perfumes that have stayed with me for many, 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 many years. And then I have perfumes that are new that I try once I use it I don't repurchase so I have a lot of going in and out so to speak but I do have a few tried and true so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with what I would deem as being a fall and winter perfumes and then I'm going to go into what I would think as being spring and summer and then I'm going to wrap up with my tried and true that I have purchased over and over and over again. So anyway. Okay, the first one I want to talk about and show you that I have in my collection is from Elizabeth and James, and this is the Nirvana Black. Um, I do have it in a spray, and I also have it in the oil version. I did get this set off of Hot Look not too long ago, so I haven't had this in my collection very long. Um, I did back during November get a little sample of the black and used it up, so then I purchased this. To me, this is a really good one to take you from fall, early fall, all the way through fall into winter, even now into the heart of winter hoping that we go into spring pretty soon but anyway the um the black is just like a warm spicy vanilla um it does have a little bit of a masculine scent to it um they do um advertise these as being unisex so it does have a little bit of a masculine but not not over the top definitely not over the top um it does have the wood uh, woodiness and sandalwood in it and also has some violet um, I think the longevity of it is really nice, and I have any problems with it not fading throughout the day. The dry down is definitely into the vanilla musk scent of it, and it's just a very nice, not an overpowering scent that you could wear definitely um, into from fall into winter. I'm stumbling over my words here. But anyway, so that is what I have there that I would deem my um, fall and winter um, perfume. Another one that I don't have that I wish I did have in my collection was the bourbon. To me, the bourbon is definitely a perfect winter um, perfume, but um, I don't have that. I had a little sample of it, but I used it, so it's no longer in my collection. Okay, so now we're going to start with some perfumes that I feel like you could wear definitely during... Um, spring and um, summer so and I have actually a lot of perfumes that I would deem as being a, a springtime scent because I am more of a floral type perfume wearer so um, normally um, if you would have asked me five years ago if I would have liked a scent like this I would have said no way there's no way I would like something that's woody and warm and spicy like this but you know we change we change over the years so oops so anyway so let's start with what are we going to start with let me start with this one here and this is philosophy and this is the amazing grace and this one um is just a very soft feminine everyday anybody can wear type of perfume. Um, I know a lot of people in the reviews of this product um, state that they work in like the healthcare profession and are able to wear this and it doesn't irritate or um, cause irritation for their patients or their clients or whatever the case may be. So it's definitely one that um, you could wear and it's not gonna be overpowering and it's not going to um, bother other people so to speak it does have the mandarin orange grapefruit bergamot freesia um, jasmine rose and then the dry down is definitely a musk um, 
to me it's like the fresh out of the shower smell it is the kind of smell that you would wear when you're wearing just a nice t-shirt like I'm wearing right now and actually a lot of people could wear this year-round but to me this just really into spring and summer because with the heat of your body it's really going to warm this up with the musk and just going to really make it um, come through it smells different on different people my daughter wears this and it smells a little bit different on her but it's still oh, it's just nice it's just definitely a soapy clean scent would definitely recommend that and then the next one that I have is from Amazing Grace. And this is one of the newest ones that they came out with. And this is the Amazing Grace in Ballet Rose. And um, of course, you know, I got it because of the rose scent to it. But it has um, lychee, rose, and peony, and then um, a woody. And then this one has a little bit of the white musk to it. So it's a little bit of a fresher uh, musk as far as opposed to a, um, a woodsy musk if that makes sense so definitely one for spring and summer um, to me is I wish it smelled a little bit more like rose than what it does but it's definitely enough of a difference between the two as far as scent wise to warrant having both of them and then I did see where they just came out with even a newer version of a rose perfume from the amazing grace Wow so anyway so I have those <clears throat> Another one that I feel like is a summer, a spring going into summer scent is this new one here that I got from my Las Vegas trip back during the summer. And this is from Chanel. And it's the Gabrielle. And I will be honest with you, I've always wanted a Chanel perfume. Always. But I never, ever, ever like them. They don't smell good on me. They smell good on other people. When I wear them, it, it's just... It doesn't smell good and I really wanted a Chanel perfume because to me that's just um, just being able to say yes I have Chanel on that's so sophisticated and ladylike and I was so sad that they never had one that I liked until they came along with this one and this one the moment I smelt it when I was in Vegas I was like I want it I need to buy it I want it so what it has in it is um, mandarin grapefruit and black currant it also has tuberose jasmine and orange blossom and then the base is like a sandalwood and a musk probably starting to see a little bit of a pattern with the perfumes that i like you know the sandalwood the musk orange blossom <laughs> so but anyway this just spraying it and just wearing it just makes you feel feminine makes you feel ladylike makes you feel like a girl and I like that I like girly scents I don't like sweet scents but I like scents that make you feel girly and sophisticated and make you feel like yes I am a girl I'm a woman and I'm proud of it and I want to wear something as very sophisticated as a Chanel perfume so I have the Gabrielle and then my um, next one that I have that is perfect for midsummer I mean when it's the hottest part of summer and you're just dying and you're ready for fall and winter to get here this is the one that I pull for and this is from Bobby Brown and this is the one called Beach now everyone always talks about how it smells like you know suntan lotion copper tone beach in a bottle I've never been to the beach so I would not know about all those smells I mean I know about suntan lotion and sunscreen because you know back during the 80s you know I laid out it's not the smartest thing I ever did but I laid out you know I had all the copper tone on me and this does bring back those days of being at the pool staying all day and having those smells all around you because there's like 50 other girls wearing copper tone um, suntanning oil but this does definitely has that. It's just got sand jasmine, sea spray, and mandarin in it. And it is, it's just, it's summer in a bottle. That's what it is. And when people describe it that way, that is so right. It does and definitely brings you back to those days when um, we were not smart and sunscreen and sun protection was not in priority unfortunately so 
Oh, and I forgot this one. This one is another one that is good for spring and summer, and this is the Elizabeth and James Nirvana White. Again, some new ones to my collection. Um, you can mix these two, and that's kind of how they're designed to, to, to work and correspond with each other. But when you do that, um, it changes from being a fall, winter, to maybe like a late, late summer, early fall scent. But this one on its own is definitely spring, spring scent for sure. And the notes on it, I have my notes here, my notes for my notes. Um, it's a fresh floral with a hint of musk. It has peony, lily of the valley, and musk. So again, just a really nice feminine scent. Um, again, something that you could wear with a, a crisp, a white crisp shirt, um, button down shirt. Ah, oh, smells so good. I'm gonna spray some of this. I don't have any perfume on today. Oh, let me just spray a little bit of that. Um, very, very subtle. It's not overpowering. Um, it kind of was one of those scents that sits close to the skin, so you're not gonna walk into your room and your perfume has already been there, you know, 10 minutes before you get there. You know what I'm talking about. So definitely another nice, um, spring scent on that one okay so now we're going to get down to um, a couple perfumes that i have purchased over and over and over and over time and time and time again i know i have featured these in a favorites video they've probably have showed up in my empties videos at some point in time um, the first one is one that I've already talked about and it's the Amazing Grace. I have had this in my collection off and on for probably the last 10 or 15 years, um, ever since it came out. Let's see, when did, did I put a note on here? Yeah, about 10 years is when I've been wearing the, the Amazing Grace. And this was the original one. This was before they came out with like the Baby Grace, the Pure Grace, um, the Rose. But this was the original one that kind of started it all. That one's been in my collection, like I said, off and on over the years. Now, the next two that I have have remained in my collection for a very long time. Um, when I run out of these, I go out and I get another one. There's no doubt about it. So, the first one I want to talk about is going to be this guy here. And this is the Skin Musk Oil. Um, I know I've talked about this a couple times in a favorites and in an empties video. I purchased mine at Walgreens. When I started purchasing it, it was around $10 and I noticed the other day it's around like $15, which still is not bad because this little bottle lasts a very long time because it doesn't take very much, just takes a few dabs. I like to wear this at night. This is my nighttime perfume. After I've had my bath, I come in here do my skincare, then I go over to my little perfume section and I get this and I dab a couple on my wrist and back in here, here, and it just smells so fresh and so clean. It has sandalwood and musk in it, so obviously I am enjoying that. I have used this one, um, not this particular one, but this scent since 2000. I discovered it when I had was living in Wyoming. Um, it's just a very soft smell. I highly recommend it. Um, this is also one that you could use to layer other perfumes with if you wanted to. Just makes a really nice base to other perfumes. I've done that with just about all these perfumes that I've shown you with the exception of the Gabrielle and um, the Beach. I have layer, layered over this. <sighs> just Overall, it is just a wonderful perfume. I know a lot of people, because when um, it was first put out, Bon Bell made it, and then Bon Bell sold it to Cody, and then when Cody purchased it, they changed the formulation of it. To me, it still smells good. It, no, it does not smell as good as the original Bon Bell, but it still smells good. It still smells good enough for me to recommend it to you. Now. I will tell you this though, it's just the oil that I'm recommending. I'm not recommending the spray. The spray, I'm th pretty sure you can find it at Walmart. It is not the same. Do not get the spray, you're not gonna like it. Don't get the body spray, you're not gonna like it. Get the oil. I, 
I guarantee you, you will like the oil. If you like a musk, you will love the oil. If you like sandalwood, you're gonna love the oil. If you like to have a little bit of a powderiness to your perfumes, you're gonna like the oil. <laughs> love it. Okay, and then the last one that I have, and this guy I have been using since 1997. This perfume has been in my collection nonstop since 1997, and it's this right here. It is the Clinique Happy. Love, love, love this perfume. This would be my signature scent. This is me. This is a perfume that captures my personality, my spirit, the way that I feel as, as a woman, as a girl, as being female. This captures it. Um, the way they, their little um, slogan is a hint of citrus, a wealth of flowers, and a mix of emotions. It has ruby red grapefruit, bergamot, Hawaiian wedding flower, and spring mimosa in it. And I love the smell of mimosa. Mimosa is probably my favorite, one of my favorite um, scents of um, summer. But anyway, I, oh man, this stuff. I'm telling you, I love it. It's, and every time I wear it, I mean all the time when I wear it, I get compliments. Like, what are you wearing? What are you wearing? What are you wearing? I'm like, oh, it's happy from Clinique. They're like, happy from Clinique? Like, really? I'm like, yeah, that's what it is. This is what I've worn. It's what I've worn for years. I always have a bottle of, of it. Love it. Swear by it. Mm, just in my collection. And this to me is perfect, perfect in spring and summer. I also like to wear, and this may seem kind of odd, but if I'm wearing like um, a very feminine look for the day, say like a, a pink eyeshadow, a really soft pink eye with maybe a pink sweater or a pink jacket, I like to wear my Clinique Happy. To me, I mean, to me, this is just girl. It's girly and I love it. So, all right, my friends, that is my perfume collection. My current perfume collection as I have said and I hope that you have enjoyed put in the comments um, below what your favorite perfume has been one that you have worn for years and years and years that you always go back to or you always have it in your collection kind of let me know what what your favorite is so anyways thank you so much and I'll talk to you soon bye